It's 3.45 a.m. and it's time to head to Palenque. We just took this really windy road and now the sunrise is right here. It's probably like in this rural area. It is so early, it's only six o'clock. We got tamales. We embark on an adventure from San Cristobal to Palenque, a five and a half hour drive filled with speed bumps and tons of curves. Along the way, we're treated to magnificent natural wonders. Agua Azul. It's a cool little area. They have micheladas, cocos fríos, hamburguesas. Agua Azul is a series of cascading waterfalls and lagoons. The water has a bright blue hue because of the high mineral content. We see a hint of a majestic rainbow forming in the mist, surrounded by jungle. multiple tiers and overlooks for the waterfall. Agua Azul. Agua Azul. If you like these views as much as we do, smash that thumbs up button down below. We hit the windy roads again for one of the most impressive natural sights in Chiapas, the Misolha Waterfall. The sight of this waterfall took our breath away. It consists of a single cascade, 35 meters in height, that is surrounded by tropical vegetation. The mist was a refreshing way to cool off from the humid jungle. And if this waterfall looks familiar at all, it was featured in the 1987 movie Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow, that was like being in a shower. Now we hit the road because we're only 20 miles away from what we've all been waiting for, Palenque. We just stopped to get cafecito. And the next stop, Palenque. Hola chicos, estamos en Palenque. Palenque. Woo. Hey. Check this out, we are in Palenque. Look at how massive this complex is. And look, they have the language right here. 
This is incredible. Estamos en Palenque, sitio arqueológico de los Mayas. We are at the ruins of Palenque. This is so exciting. Look at this. Look at this complex. It is so massive and it's in the jungle. There are many mysteries of Palenque. One, in fact, is the Temple of the Skulls, where a skull can be found on one of the pillars. It's talking about the archaeological work that it took to discover this place, including the detailing, exploration, excavation, trying to prevent damage. Many mounds stand out in the jungle yet to be explored. Dun, dun, dun. So behind me is the tomb of the Red Queen and they said that the buried person was placed in a sarcophagus here surrounded by jade, pearls, obsidian, and other objects. So the guided tours were 1900 Mexican dollars or for an English speaking tour they started at about 90 US dollars per person. But we decided to just tour ourselves and read some of the signage because they have really good signage here. Imagine being the first people who discovered this, just shrouded in jungle. Okay, so this bad boy, this big one right here is called Temple of the Inscriptions, Templo de las Inscripciones. This important building is named after the three large limestone tablets in the central room. They contain the largest Mayan graphic text found to date. So it says that three limestone panels with hieroglyphic inscriptions give this temple its name. Walking through its interior, one comes to an imposing funeral crypt decorated with bas reliefs where the sarcophagus of Lord Sunshield, aka Pakal, is located. He ruled Palenque from 615 to 683 AD. This right here is called El Palacio. <sighs> wow, it is so unreal being here. I dreamed about this place for so long. And it's the first place that we visited post quarantine. Obviously it's the low season. You don't see as many people as you do in Chichen Itza. It took about five and a half hours to get here. We stopped off at a number of waterfalls. Totally worth it, look at this. This is unreal to be at an archeological site of this immense history and like no one's behind us in the photos. It's crazy. Amazing. It's amazing. And the amount of detail you can see on these pyramids and the hieroglyphics, it's incredible. I mean, we're talking about things thousands of years old. You can still see a little bit of the color right there. So here I'm gonna close up in so we can see the hieroglyphics. Look at this, you can kind of see that they have like Mayan gods here. Look at this. This is crazy. This is called the Count. The building was named because it was supposedly used by Count Jean Frederic Waldeck during his stay in Palenque in the first half of the 19th century, although he lived at the foot of the Temple of the Cross for a period of two months. Wow, so he lived here. That's insane. You can even see like windowsills up there. It is incredible to walk in the footsteps of the Mayan people. And behind us, we see the temple. You can see it has the particular style of Palenque with the, the triad entrances. And wow, I can't even describe being here. We're like in the middle of the jungle. It's kind of overrun with grass and trees. Look into my eyes and you will be cursed forever. <laughs> Where? Right by that. Look at this tree. This is a mango tree, and on the ground, there's mangoes everywhere. 
fresh iguana food. We are in search of buried treasure here today, the Temple of the Lost Ark. And apparently, the plaque said that underneath the ground are some tombs, so the buried treasure might be in there. So they say that the buried treasure consists of pearls, jade, and obsidian, possibly even gold. Let's see if we can find it. What are we looking at? We're at the Fuego de Pelota. This is the ball court, and it had an immense religious significance to the Mayas here in Palenque. Wow, this was an interesting ceremony that they had here. I just heard a jaguar. Do you hear that? There's a jaguar. Wow. <laughs> this is the Temple of the Sun, dedicated to the god Gil. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We're hearing sounds of the jaguar in the background. Yeah, Temple of the Sun. And then ooh, we are looking at some of the finest pieces of Mayan architecture in the world. We're in front of the Temple of the Sun. It's just incredible. You can hear sounds of the jaguars in the background. Bing! So cool. So it says no pasar, but I want to know what's in here. Could be buried treasure. It's just so wild looking compared to some of the other complexes that I've been to. Just hardly populated and shrouded in jungle. Finally, I came across what appeared to be the buried treasure, all out in the open. A rich collection of jade. Or was it? So what made this temple special is that you get to see it in its natural environment with the vegetation around it. Mike, how did it stand out beside the other temples you've seen in Mexico? So striking and amazing. You guys definitely have to make it all the way out here. It's so worth it. Right, Kristen? Yeah. Come out here. Palenque. All right. So we are walking back now. It is super hot here. It's three o'clock and it's got to be like 90 degrees. But we hope, 97. Yeah, 97. <laughs> we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We the, worked really hard to make it. <laughs> yeah. We hope that you enjoyed this video of Chiapas and get a chance to visit Palenque Come very and see soon. It. Definitely worth Hit it. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.